Hi there, welcome to the last video, part four. Okay, I'm going to uh, speed this up for you a little bit. We just have to practice this a lot to really get it down, and we'll make things come down the road a little bit easier for us if we work hard up front here. But uh, I went ahead and selected the five points for you, and I have them here. So you need to write down this chart. You might need to do it on another piece of paper on the back. Maybe you've got room on the bottom half. I don't know. But I went ahead and selected the five x values for you. Two, one, zero, negative one. Uh, that should be negative two. And I'd like you to go ahead and fill in the chart. Watch your signs. That's the vertex. Plot your graph. And when you do this, please do it in pencil, please. So if there's an error, we can go back and correct it. And it doesn't look as messy and that makes us happy. So fill out this chart, please. Fill out the graph, sketch the graph, and let's see if yours compares to mine. And I go ahead and hit pause, do that work, and I'll be back in a moment with your chart and graph filled out. And ta-da, there it is, there's our chart filled out. So the five points you should have uh, worked out, if you did it correctly, would have been well, it's sort of the vertex. The vertex was 0, negative 1. And by the way, have you noticed yet that when the vertex is 0, okay, when the x value is 0, it just basically comes out to be that number for the y. Happened in all three of those. Look back if you don't believe me. That's the vertex. Okay, two points to the right of the vertex right here. 2, negative 5, and 1, negative 2. I kind of highlighted things. Make sure you check those signs that they match. Did you get negative 5? Did you do that part correctly here where you, you kept that negative sign? It's the opposite of x squared. So you got to take 2 squared as 4. It's negative 4 minus 1 plus negative 1. That's negative 5. If you said negative 3 or 3, uh, you're still making that negative error. you got to be really careful of. And then down here, these two points. Uh, I actually didn't finish this one. That's negative 2, negative 5. The last one, I kind of highlighted some things you need to watch carefully. Again, those negative signs and how they work. Okay, in this particular problem, the opposite of negative 1. If x is negative 1, the equation was the opposite of x. So you square that negative, making it positive 1. It's the opposite of 1 minus 1. It's actually negative 2. Same thing happened right here where we got that. So anyway, the, that uh, is the chart for your five points that you need. And then if you sketch the graph, it should have come out to look something like this. Don't forget to sketch your line of symmetry there. Anyway, that'll do it for today. Four videos, but we'll keep this one super short for you. Bring those questions to class tomorrow and uh, start graphing. See you soon.